Remember that the state under Article 21 of the Constitution has been given a mandate to protect, to respect, to uphold and to fulfill the rights which have been intended under Chapter 4 of the Bill of Rights. And the state has taken, um, has taken some of the measures that is enacting legislations and also uh, giving uh, some of the officers, let's say the police officers, a duty to ensure that there is public order, there is a maintenance of peace, to ensure progressive realization of human rights. Kenyans, if we don't participate with all the, uh, with all the stakeholders, with the police officers, and also to follow the order and to, uh, to follow the rule of law. Do you think that we can reach a situation whereby there is a progressive realization of human rights? Of course, no. It is everybody's duty and obligation to ensure that all these parameters of the law are being taken into a keen uh, interest. Another one is that it is a matter of general welfare of the public. So allow me to ask you this question. It's only in 2011 that we have that I have stated that we have experienced 543 cases of mob justice. Then from uh, 2013, we had 343 cases. 2017, we had another case whereby um, whereby uh, an accountant and his three assistants were killed when they were calling for another business activity. So. Because uh, at that area, uh, at that at that time, there was uh, there was cattle rustling uh, at the West Pocot. So these people thought that these people they have come here to just steal our cattle, but now they stopped their car and the vehicles and told these people to come outside. And so they told them that you are the cattle rustlers. And so these people, when when they wanted to just argue and defend themselves that they are not cattle wrestlers. They were not given that opportunity. And as a result, they were killed and they were punched to death. So do you think that uh, we should get, uh, we should be silent and watch things as they way, uh, things as they go out and these people's rights being limited? We cannot do so. So uh, another issue is that, okay, can someone who has involved himself in the mob justice escape liability? So by virtue that, okay, you've heard that this person is a thief and we have to stone him to death. So now you say, okay, yes, let's go and kill him. You all of you come and kill that person. Do you think that you can escape liability before the eyes of the law and say that it is the public who has come together and stone this person to death? You cannot escape liability. Remember that under Article 10 of the Constitution, whereby we have the national values, there is a rule of law. And also, secondly, we have the supremacy of the constitution, which has been clearly provided in Article 2, which provides the constitution is the supreme law, and it finds every person, it finds every state orphan. And, and also, moving onwards to provision of Section 14 of the Penal Code, Cap 63 Laws of Kenya, it provides that uh, those people who, uh, who have attained, let's say, the age of 12 years, so long as they know their actions of indulgence in any criminal offense, for example, stoning and lynching this person, the victim to death, he, he, he can be found killed before the eyes of the law. And therefore, if someone has been found killed in the eyes of the law, he has to suffer the repercussions. He has to be imprisoned or he has to uh, pay fines, uh, fines as the court deems fit. So no, no one can escape that liability. I remember that also section 14 provides that um, children only who are below the age of eight years may not be culpable of criminal offense. So, and any other person, don't, don't think that because you've engaged in mob justice, you will not be held liable. The rule of law comes into hand and also those are the repercussions, which uh, may be because you, we have been ignorant of the law. We don't, we have been ignorant of the law and saying that maybe the law may not be on our side. The law will be on our side if we don't take the actions the way it needs to be. And uh, what are the most criminal offenses that are committed in mob justice? So uh, most of the offenses which are committed in mob justice, we have murder and we have manslaughter. 
And so for, because of any other person maybe who is not on the legal professions, allow me to explain what murder is and allow me to state what manslaughter is. A murder is a situation whereby a person undertakes an action, he or she has the knowledge that if I do this, if I kill this person, the ultimate thing is that this person is going to die. So that intention or that knowledge is what we call in the legal profession, the mens rea. And the action itself of you undertaking that action may be stoning the victim to death or lynching or, um, or punning that person to death. That is the action. That is what we call in the legal profession, uh, actors rears. So once the two, uh, two situations have been proved before the court of the law, then they will say uh, the court will uh, will render its determination that you are killed or murder. Then manslaughter is a situation whereby, of course, you've undertaken the action of killing this person, either by stoning, either by burning using the petrol and the matchsticks, the way we have seen in various videos and in, in YouTube. So um, the, the difference between the two is that in murder, uh, in manslaughter, you do not have that real, real intention. Uh, or real, real knowledge. What has motivated you might be provocation. You might be provoked because this person stole your goods from your stock. And so because you, you, you were angry with him, you decided to call him uh, the thief and you decided to call other people to come and assist you in killing this person. So that is what we call uh, the manslaughter. So I think from now you've gotten the difference between the two. And so uh, what can we say that you have that malice thought when it comes to the position of the law? We have a provision of section 206 of the Penal Code of uh, 63 laws of Kenya. We can say that you had that malice thought, you had that intention to kill this and the following uh, actions. You had that intention to cause death or um, you previously bodily harm to the person, the victim. So for instance, uh, in these situations, whereby you yourself, you took a stone and you stoned this person. So that, that one is enough to show that you had the malice afforded, the intention to kill this person. And so once that one has been proved before uh, the court of law, of course, you will be found guilty of murder. And so uh, Kenyans allow me to ask you this question. So how many situations have you encountered? How many, how many um, events have you seen people being uh, killed in terms of mob justice? And have you ever taken an initiative as a citizen to address that situation? What is your position and what is your take when it comes to such situation whereby we are seeing the human rights violation being taken um, being taken as a business or an ordinary 